Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me for today's chair yoga video which is focused on hip and lower back relief, something that I know a lot of you um, have asked for and I'm here to deliver so um, we'll get straight into it. There is a little affirmation to go with it, a little saying that says my hips and lower back are strong and flexible and I move with ease and comfort. So hopefully if they don't already they will be by the time we finish this video <laughs> okay so let's begin sitting up nice and tall in our chair so move slightly forward make sure you've got a nice sturdy chair don't lean back keep your your, your bottom your butt forward a little bit and sit up nice and tall we're going to start with a few deep breaths inhale the arms up remember to breathe in and out through the nose exhale down And again, inhale up, big stretch, stretch those arms up, exhale down, that's it, keep smiling, and again, inhale up, and slowly exhale down, and place your hands on your knees, we're going to stop. Um, with cat cow which again we do quite often so we're going to round the back so bend the elbows you can twist the hands tuck your chin so you're really rounding your back think like a cat really tucking that chin don't don't sort of hold your breath you're exhaling as you do this and then as you inhale you bring that chest up head back and then keep going exhale so gently warming up the back and then inhale. Get a nice stretch in the neck as well. Exhale. Round the back. Inhale. Chest open. Exhale. Round the back. Cat pose. Inhale. And back to a neutral spine. We're going to take a little, a little flow, a little forward bend flow. So make sure the ankles are directly below the knees. Inhale your hands up. Exhale forward with a flat back, nice and slow. Bring those hands down and then slowly inhale up. Exhale back. And again, inhale up, exhale forward, hands down, slide up the legs, inhale up, big stretch across the chest, and we'll do that one more time, inhale up, exhale forward, slide the hands up the legs, inhale, and exhale and bring those hands together and release so we're going to get into um, a wider angled we're going to say this we're going to open up the hips so we're focusing on hips so there'll be twists which will help your hips and your lower back today so take those feet out as wide as you can so you get that nice stretch in the inner thighs sit up nice and tall and we're going to do um, a little, so we're going to look over our, our shoulder. So I want you to place your hands on your inner thighs and lean forward and bring that right shoulder forward and look to the left. So you're kind of looking over your left shoulder. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. And then slowly come back up. And we'll do the other side. So lean forward, left shoulder and look over your right. Keep breathing and back and we'll do that one more time so lean forward right shoulder forward look over the left keep breathing and inhale up other side leaning forward left shoulder forward look over the right inhale up and sitting up nice and tall we're going to do a side bend from here so 
Bring that right forearm on top of your right thigh and lift that left arm alongside your ear so you'll feel a stretch up that side of the body. Again, opening the hips. Reach over with that left hand. Try and roll that shoulder back. Try not to let that arm come forward so you're reaching over. That's it, keep breathing, keep smiling. And lower down. And we'll do the other side. So left forearm on the left thigh, inhale, right arm over. And so you're rolling that right shoulder back. That's it, keep breathing, really reach over with those right, right fingers, right hands, I was gonna say, right fingers. And back. Okay, we're gonna get into our warrior sequence now. So keeping those legs wide, I want you to turn to your right and back up on your chair so that the corner of your chair is kind of tucked in the back of your knee and that right ankle is directly below your right knee and stretch out those arms. The left foot is facing forward. So this is your warrior two with the chair supporting you. So imagine someone's pulling those arms in opposite directions. Just take a nice deep breath here. That's it, hold those arms. Take another breath. And then as you exhale, I want you to let the back hand slide down the back leg and the right hand goes straight up. Now remember, you don't have to look up, you can look straight ahead if that's more comfortable for your neck. This is reverse warrior. So a big side body stretch and you're opening up that hip flexor. And then we're gonna inhale back to warrior. So stretch those arms and then into side angle. So we're gonna take that front forearm on top of your right thigh and bring that left arm alongside your ear. Again, rolling that left shoulder back. And now your ankle, your knee, your hip, your shoulder and your wrist should all be in line. You're getting a lovely side body stretch. Keep breathing. Inhale back to your warrior. So really stretch those arms. And then we're gonna lower the hands down. We're gonna do the other side. So slide yourself back to the center of your chair. Turn to your left. Again, bringing that knee back to the, getting the chair in the crook of your knee. Take that right foot back and oh, I'm off my mat, turn that foot out. So this time, stretching the arms out so you're into your warrior. So press those back little toes into the mat and you'll feel that stretch there for your warrior two, your seated warrior two. So big stretch here, big breath in. Hold the pose, take another breath. And as you exhale, back hand slides down, left hand up this time. Reaching up with the left hand. Again, look up if it's comfortable. If not, look straight ahead. Feel the stretch in that right hip flexor. This is reverse warrior. I'm gonna inhale back to warrior two, stretch those arms. Okay, side angle. So your left forearm comes down onto your left thigh and your right arm comes alongside your ear. Again, lining all those joints up, having a really good stretch in side angle. That's it, keep breathing. And inhale back, back to your warrior. And lower down. Okay, so coming back to the center of your chair, we're gonna do a, tri a seated triangle, so we're gonna bring the left knee forward, so the knee is over the ankle, and we're gonna stretch out, so you come to sort of the corner of your chair. So that left leg, as I say, is facing forward, and the right leg is stretching out. So, place your right hand on that leg, don't push, but just place it gently on there. Inhale that left arm up, and then side stretch down for your triangle. Again, you're keeping that chest open, you're rolling that left shoulder back alongside your ear. That's it for seated triangle, nice stretch in the inner thigh here. And we're gonna come back. So, bring that leg forward, move over to the left corner of your chair. So, right knee above the ankle. 
stretch out that left leg. So you've got a nice straight leg this side. Okay. So make sure that your chair is nice and stable, don't tip off it. Stretch out that left leg straight, inhale up, and then reach over as far as is comfortable for you, reaching over with that right hand. So a lovely side body stretch here. And slowly inhale back. And bring in those legs back out in front, sit up nice and tall. So we're gonna get into seated pigeon now, or figure four pose, some people call it. So again, coming forward to the, towards the edge of your chair, we're gonna lift up that right knee. So hug it in, hug it as much as you can, and then take that right foot and place it on your left knee. Now you can feel that stretch straight away, just, and this is enough for some of you, so, or if you can't bring it all the way up, just bring that knee out and just lift that leg up as high as you can. But say this may be enough, if you want to extend further, you can just fold forward, applying tiny, tiny bit of pressure or none at all, whatever again feels good to you, and just lean forward, you can really feel that deep stretch there. Okay, keep breathing, think of those hips that you're helping. <laughs> and then slowly sit up, inhale as you come up, and release. And we'll do the other side, so hug that left knee, bring it up as high as you can, and then take that left foot, place it on your right knee. Again, this may be enough for you, sitting up nice and tall, or gently come forward. So remember to listen to your body, that's the most important thing. We're all different and we all feel things differently, so keep breathing and slowly come back up. Okay, so now we're going to get into like an eagle twist, like eagle is a, we're not going to do the arms, we're just going to do the legs. So we're going to take that right knee over the top. So imagine just crossing your legs. So you're going to place your left hand on your right knee and then you're going to take your right hand behind and you're going to turn and twist the body and look over the right side. So imagine looking over your right shoulder. Again, if it's more comfortable for your neck, try, don't turn your head too far. Remember not to hold your breath, really breathe into this pose. It's wonderful for you. Twists are wonderful for your lower back. and slowly release to the front. Take that leg back down, and we'll do the other side. So we're gonna cross the left leg over the right, so we're crossing our legs. Right hand on your left knee, your left hand behind this time. Big breath in. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. We're gonna take a couple of breaths here. And slowly coming back to the front. Okay, sitting up nice and tall. We're going to come back just a tiny bit because we're just going to do another side bend. So right hand on your chair, lift your left hand up and just reach over just a tiny bit, keeping that chest facing forward. That's it again, rolling the left shoulder back. Don't hold your breath. Inhale. Lower that hand down, grab the left leg, or the side of your chair, the left side. Inhale. And reach over, right arm, rolling the right shoulder back. And release. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit of, um, strength building, we're gonna um, do a knee lift. So like we did before, before we did the, the pigeon or the figure four pose, you're gonna hug that knee with both hands and then you're gonna stretch out your left hand. So you're just holding that knee with one hand and then if you hold your knee up there, you engage your core, sit up, take your right hand away if you can 
and then here comes the challenge. I want you to stretch that leg out and flex the foot. So you're getting strength in your core, which again is wonderful for your back. So keep breathing. And lower. Well done. We're going to do the other side. So inhale and then exhale as you lift that leg up. Again, hug it in and then hug it up as high as you can. Stretch out the right arm and then engage that leg and the core. Stretch out both arms if you can. If not, hang on to it and then straighten the leg. Oh, creaky bones and flex the foot. <laughs> Sitting up nice and tall. You're, and you're engaging the thigh as well, keeping that leg strong. Sitting up strong core and lower. Okay, we are coming into the home stretch now. We're just going to do another little flow like we did at the beginning. So we're going to inhale the hands up. Palms to face the front. We're going to exhale forward. I'm going to do it a little bit slower this time. Place your hands on your feet, tuck your chin, and then slide up. Inhale up. Bring the arms down. And then we'll do it again. Inhale up. Palms to face the front. Exhale forward. Tuck the chin. And then slowly slide up. Inhale and exhale down and we're just going to finish with a lovely cleansing breath so sitting up nice and tall nice straight back inhale your hands up so you're inhaling through the nose and we're going to exhale through the mouth as you bring the hands down and bow forward and namaste and there we are, that was our chair yoga for hip and lower back relief. Don't forget to let me know what you thought of it. And um, don't forget that affirmation, which is my hips and back are strong and flexible and I move with ease and comfort. And I really hope that you do. I really hope that you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to leave me a comment and, and share it with someone that you think might benefit from it. Um, I've got a very, very... A, a quick my um, chair yoga audience is growing very quickly and it's, it's so wonderful because um, it's fairly new to my channel I mostly did Hatha yoga standing but I love that so many of you are beginning um, with the chair yoga and then progressing to, to my more um, the standing yoga and the gentle videos that I make so remember listen to your body and most of all enjoy your yoga journey thank you so much I'll see you next time Take care. Bye.